What's up gamers? So Hellbent Games finally decided to show us some Dollmaster gameplay. If you don't know, Dollmaster is one of the three monsters being released with VHS. The other two being Wart and the Werewolf. But before we go into the gameplay, let me just go over some of the Dollmaster's abilities. The Dollmaster plays much differently than the other two monsters. Essentially, you roam around as the Dollmaster and place up to five of your little dolls around the map using your first skill. Your second skill allows you to possess any doll you've placed on the map. However, you're only able to possess each doll for a certain amount of time. You can also determine if there's a team close to the doll you're about to possess, indicated by the doll icon changing from white to yellow. Also, a red doll icon means that a teen has disarmed your doll. And the Doll Master's last ability allows him to teleport to one of his dolls he's set up, which is on a one minute cooldown. Definitely a ton of strategy and map knowledge needed to play him correctly, but he definitely seems like one of the more fun killers to play. Let me know in the comments who your favorite monster is. Anyways guys, of course, more VHS content to come, so make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and share this video. And one more thing I wanna mention is that we did get a brief look at the VHS lobby screen, as you can see here. On the top right, you can see the currencies, what looks like to be in-game and paid currency. Bottom left, you've got Girl Boss Gloria. On the bottom right, it looks like you can see what movies you have active. The progression and movie rental system is explained in another one of my videos, so make sure you go ahead and check that one out too. And then lastly, of course, we've got Best Girl Faith. Mwah. Anyways guys, here's the gameplay of the Dollmaster courtesy of Hellbent Games. Make sure you check out their channel also. Enjoy. And here we go. <clears throat> cool. So you start out as a teen, but yes. you transform immediately. Yeah, yeah. So you can, um, as the monster, you have sort of a decision you can make. You can stay as a teen for a little bit and try to pretend like you're one of the teens, or you can just transform immediately. Eventually, you will be forced to transform after like 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, but as Dollmaster, you want to be running around, placing your traps, and you've got a lot of setup to do. So yeah, uh, yeah. So I just decided to transform right away. Yeah, because he he, he needs that network in order to be able to to sort of. Uh, yeah. be on top of things right exactly because he does all his work through his dolls mm -hmm. so here i've just possessed the first doll of the match so the vision's a little bit lower to the ground because the dolls are kind of short mm -hmm. and uh here we go nice. you so, caught uh, mikhail right off the bat yeah yeah so the dolls have a leap ability so it's on like a, a short sort of cooldown for it yeah that's their cue yeah 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 and here, what I just did was I went from one doll and then I possessed another doll. So you can basically chain doll possessions mm -hmm. back to back mm -hmm. as long as you've got more dolls to possess. Yeah, and that's useful because they have a limited amount of life, as you can yeah. see in the bottom left corner. Yeah, yeah. Bottom left, you can see I've got about a little less than half of the lifetime left on this doll. And when the lifetime runs out, the doll is still there. It'll still be in the map. It'll yeah. just be kind of like in a dormant state. Nice, nice. You got Kyle. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> Typical. Typical. <laughs> so hit Kyle twice. So you can see on the left side, there's the they're they're downed right now. They're yeah. knocked prone. Um, so they can't do any building or anything. They need another team to come and pick them up. Mm -hmm. So cool. So you're trying to select which one. You went to the, the white one, which means that there there were no teens around that one. Mm -hmm. So why'd you choose to go the white one instead of the yellow one? Yeah. Um, well, I wasn't sure if they would have a weapon ready at the yellow one, and actually we just saw the, um, the icon color change to red, which yeah. means someone disarmed it. So someone actually was right there. Right. Now, were they armed? Would they have stunned me? Oh, oh I, now there you we find go. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they might have just stunned me immediately as, a, if, as I possessed that doll. Right. Um, so you took the, the, sort of the roundabout way to get to where you thought they were from, yeah. from the, uh, it's yeah. a little bit safer. Cool. So that one, they just ran over a doll. So it turns yeah. red there uh, and it's sort of glowing, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that someone ran over the doll, they tripped it. And if you start to possess that one, you possess it faster. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, which uh, which is pretty handy. Mm -hmm. So I just teleported uh, because I uh, my doll possession was on cooldown still and they were kind of pressuring my body. Mm -hmm. So if the teens hit the dolls with weapons, um, it, it does stun the doll master for a little bit, um, but it doesn't wound him. You can see at the top of the screen, we've got the four stigmas up there, one mm -hmm. for each of the sort of damage oh. types. So <laughs> that's what you were trying to avoid last time. Right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, when you start possessing a doll, it'll show a little thing and it'll make a noise. 
And so the teens, if they've got a weapon, they can sort of pre-fire and, and hit your doll as you're possessing it and stun as you come through. And that's exactly what they just right, did. Right, right. So, yeah. So you're back in the body here. Mm -hmm. um, you're moving to sort of the corner of the map. Is this intentional? You're trying to get into, like, out of the center of the map? Yeah, 100%. Um, and we can see someone just stepped on that trap there, so I'm, like, kind of trying to find where they're at. But, yeah, um, as Doll Master, one of the... When you're fighting Doll Master, the teens have to, like, hunt you down mm -hmm. and, like, listen for the little lullaby that you mm -hmm. play while you're possessing dolls and try to find your body. Because, of course, your body is what they're actually trying to damage yeah. with the weapons. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the more you can sort of keep moving as Doll Master and um, stay on the edge of the map, the harder it is for them to find you. Mm -hmm. So you can see, oh, you almost ran out of time on that doll. It was really, really close to yeah. getting to the end. Um, so you, but you were able to possess a doll um, in order to sort of jump and, and extend your timer, basically. Yeah. And if you don't possess another doll, then it goes on cooldown uh, when you when you drop the doll. So uh, yeah. in order to kind of apply the most pressure, you want to keep chaining dolls together, if you can. Right. But teens can obviously disarm all your dolls uh, if they find them. So that's why, as I'm placing some of these, you'll notice I'm like hiding them. Or while I try to possess a, a, my next doll, I'll like hide myself first in a little corner right. before I go and. Uh, right. Oh god! Oh my so goodness! Many weapons. So many weapons. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just want to say nice. that when you downed me there, I was screaming at my team to try and come help me because I knew they all had weapons. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so. He's inside the shock sphere there, yeah. and um, that's a pretty powerful weapon that I wanted to sort of get rid of, and I wanted to consume it. So right. uh, that's why I ran towards it with the doll, and I hit it with the doll. Mm -hmm. So now that weapon's been used up, and mm -hmm. it didn't deal the uh, shock uh, stigma. stigma to yeah. me. So um, you know, no damage was dealt there. Yeah. And now that weapon's gone. But of course, I do get stunned, and I do get revealed um, every time my doll gets uh, taken out with a weapon. Right. Right. Makes sense. So, just planting some more dolls. Mm -hmm. So that doll counter in the corner, it was up a few before you had like two in the reserve or something like that. Mm -hmm. So every time they disarm a doll, it gets removed from the map and in order to place any more from your reserve, you have to go back to your body, right? So yeah. if they're disarming your network, you kind of have to go reset, right? As exactly. The, as, the, as the body. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, as Doll Master, ideally you've got all your dolls somewhere placed out on the map mm -hmm. uh, for the duration of the match. But of course, as teens find them and disarm them, uh, then that'll kind of go back. Right, right. Are you looking when you're placing dolls? Are you are you paying attention to the placement of your dolls and where they're going? Uh, yeah, I uh, I don't, I'll see if I can find some good examples in this match, uh, but yeah, a great tactic as Doll Master is to have. Uh, a team that you're chasing with one doll and sort of herd them towards one of your dolls up ahead. Right. Um, that works out pretty great. I do a little bit of that, uh, I think, in this match. So like there, you place the doll like purposefully in the corner and behind things, right? So mm -hmm. that they're not easy to, to spot and go disarm, right? Because you, yeah. you don't want the teens to just see them outright, know that they're there, run over and disarm them. If they run over them, you kind of want them to accidentally do it, right? Because they won't be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. So here I just did sort of a, an aggressive teleport here because yeah. I figured they were at that station that I just about uh, I must have given Kyle a heart attack there. <laughs> but uh, oh, he was behind those rocks there. Nice, nice. Good job, Kyle. <laughs> oh yeah, you got a sword okay. here. So it's kind of fun being like a little doll, like hiding behind tables and yeah. stuff and trying to sort of yeah. Nice. Nice. So I got him to waste good. a few swings of the sword, yeah. and then I was able to leap in there um, mm -hmm. once my leap was off cooldown. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, with the sword, you have to stay inside the beam for mm -hmm. a certain amount of time. It's not how many times you get hit with a beam, right? Yeah. So if you can you can kind of like move out of the way and, and, and exit the, the beam, you start, to, uh, you start to lose damage of your stigma, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, exactly. so you just got, the doll got stunned there, so you got sent back to your body and you're mm -hmm. exposed again. Yeah, at the bottom of the screen, you can see the little exposed thing. So they've got wall hacks right now for until that runs out. Right, they can right. see exactly where I'm at. Right. So while you're exposed, you usually don't want to teleport because otherwise they'll see exactly where you went to. And then so. you don't have the teleport to escape again when they start pressuring you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. So here I think uh, one of the teens was sort of chasing me. You can see the uh, yellow this border is me. This is me. around. <laughs> I remember this. It is, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and you got me. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was playing a little too greedy there because I saw that yellow frame, which lets you know that a teen is close to your body right, right. with a weapon. Um, and I saw that, but I thought I could find you with my doll I before figured, you found me. Yeah, because you were on yeah. the other side of the room. You thought that I was coming from that direction, but I was actually coming from yeah. the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. so sounds good. Uh, well, good for you, not good for me. <laughs> All right, so I possessed this one. I saw it was yellow, so I figured there was someone here. Cool. And indeed, yep. there's a team. And someone just failed that uh, electric station, so you saw that icon in the corner. So mm -hmm. getting a lot of information here. So here was an example of where I thought that the one I just, the teen I just hit would run up through the courtyard. Right. Because lots of times teens will be in the courtyard, right, and that's right. it's a central location where they can meet up. Yeah. Ah, but... There's someone over here instead, so it was sprinkled Kyle. in. <laughs> it was Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle was the first victim. Uh, or Kyle. Yeah. The leaping, leaping attack. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so, get another hit. Oh, and you can see that. I was going to run out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. There, the, I was a little too greedy trying to get, like, way too many hits with that one doll. Yeah. And when the, the edge of the screen was blinking black, that sort of is like a visual indicator hey you're this doll's lifetime is about to run out so you yeah. need to either like uh go possess another doll or do something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and and if yeah. you if the timer runs out or if you ever jump back you can't repossess another doll for mm -hmm. is, is five seconds or it's actually 12 seconds there I yeah think. so yeah it's a long time to be stuck back in your body if you don't want to be mm -hmm. yeah so you just teleported there there's a difference between teleporting to a doll and possessing a doll in that the teleport actually consumes the doll when you teleport, right? Yeah, yeah. So once you teleport, you want to slap another doll down as soon as you can before you start possessing right. dolls. Oh, hiding in the elevator. Classic. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> not, not quite hidden enough there. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they like threw a Molotov at me and I, I felt a lot of pressure. So I just looked across the map at a doll that I still had hidden. Right. And I just teleported and just got out of danger. Right, so. right. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. So you can see your body when you're in a doll here, mm -hmm. right? So you can always, at all times, sort of look around the map and see where your doll is positioned. So if teens are coming at you or, or sort of in, encroaching on that position, then you, you can kind of see them approaching that area, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I'd say the doll master requires the most like map knowledge because you've got to be sort of thinking about 3D levels and yeah. like, you know, if you're looking at this doll symbol, is that on the second floor or is that on the right. main floor or maybe it's in the basement? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So, <laughs> you don't you don't see it here. I was yeah. looping between this window <laughs> like back and forth. I know. <laughs> uh, that's actually one of the disadvantages of the doll, right? Is their vision. Yeah. They're, they're so much lower to the ground. It's kind of an advantage and a disadvantage, right? Because they're they're lower. They're harder to hit. They're harder to see with the teens, but yeah. they also have terrible vision. They can't see over tables yeah. or anything like this. Yeah, so they're easier it's a to lot hide from. easier to hide from them for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, that was some that was some good sneak. Oh, it was great. It was but great, I could just say. hear a little footstep every now and then, right. so I knew someone was around there, but I yeah. couldn't quite find them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so most of my dolls are white right now, so I don't have a great uh, idea of where you guys are at. If they were yellow, then I know there's a team nearby. Mm -hmm. Also, I think yeah, I've got two spare dolls that aren't placed. I've only got three dolls. They're all white, so yep. I don't have a lot of great like map presence mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now. That's why my dolls kind of like being a little explorer, like running around the map, trying yeah. to see what he can find. Yeah, and you're kind of dropping them into into sort of discrete places, right? When you're when you're jumping back and forth, because mm -hmm. you, you still want to think about where the position uh, of the dolls that you left, right? Yeah. So you're sort of moving into position, repositioning your, re repositioning your dolls to try and, and get them to light up yellow, right? So there, exactly. someone just tripped it. You know immediately someone's there. Yeah. So someone stepped on this. And yeah. what's going on in the background here is there's a rift that's appeared. So mm -hmm. after a little while, rifts will show up. And whichever team captures them, they get vision of the other team. So they, yeah. they can see the other team through, through walls and things. So if the teens get that, they'll see where my active uh, character is, which mm -hmm. is a little bit... Um, different for doll master because it'll show the doll master if you're in your body but right. it'll show your active doll if you're in a doll right right um and then uh if the doll master gets that then he gets to see where all, all the, the teens teams. are through yeah. walls yeah um so yeah yeah that's kind of terrifying for the doll master right because if if at any point while the rift is active for the teens oh you got a rage yeah, yeah that's yeah, great that was good uh, but if any at, at any point he has to go back to his body they know exactly where his body is right? yeah so it's really risky yeah. Uh, to let them have that rift. 
Yeah. yeah. So if they capture the rift, you typically want to just keep chaining doll possessions back to back and never go back to your body if you can help it. Otherwise, yeah. they figure out where your body's right. at. Right. So yeah. So got a rage hit there uh, a couple moments ago. And basically, when you're enraged, you will one hit down a team when you hit them. It doesn't matter what their health state is. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so it's, uh, it's always nice when you're able to land that. You slowly yeah. build up rage over the course of a match. Mm -hmm. And every time you get a hit with the monster... Um, it builds rage. But if you down yeah. somebody, then you lose all of your built-up rage. So exactly. It's... it's uh, it's good if you're like getting hits, but you're not able to down anybody. You can mm -hmm. build up the rage over time, and I think it's about three hits on average, right? Every three hits yeah, or so, you build up so. rage uh, if you haven't downed anybody. So, they've got a oh, shock spear. Just pressuring and, you know, the oh yeah, the point. I couldn't actually see which weapon actually hit me. It was there. the sh it was the shield, uh, the spear. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that's what I was hoping, but I wasn't sure, and uh, yeah, because that's. Basically, the shock sphere is uh, very easy to like force the doll master out of his hiding spots, like in in stairways or in like sm in close quarters uh, yeah. rooms and things. Yeah. Um, so we got the yellow border on the screen here. So someone's getting close. So I really wanted to get that hit before I dropped the doll to come deal with whoever is so closing greedy. in on me. So greedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it hey, wasn't you're... like bright yellow, so I knew right. I had like a little bit of time, right. maybe. Right. So, yeah. So back there when you got the uh, rage hit, I know it was a little while ago, but mm -hmm. uh, you got the rage hit, Daniel was crawling on the ground. Your doll was still lighting up. So the dolls still detect down teens, right? Yeah, yeah. But if a teen dies, it doesn't detect that body. Yeah, right. correct. Yeah, so uh, in that way, teens can kind of use their prone teammates to, as sort of cover i mean it's like it'll give the doll master like false positives basically right right, right. um yeah so just kind of juking in the courtyard here trying not to get, to, get roasted here to waste his weapon <laughs> but there's possible. lots of dolls here so here i possess a doll on the other side of the library and i try to come back here and attack him from behind mm -hmm. unfortunately i kind of i think i kind of lost him here because right. he, he ran upstairs but right. uh yeah so there is a rift up right now I'm not paying too close of attention to it, and that's because I was really close to getting a hit on this teen. So mm -hmm. if the, and we can see the teens just captured the rift now because mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention to it. So they can see where my doll is now that, I've, that I'm possessing. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really trying not to uh, depossess all the dolls if I can. Right. Uh, but if, if the rift is up and it's unclaimed, and the teens get a hit on the monster, or the monster gets a hit on the teens, then the rift disappears and it right. goes away for a little while again. Right. So that's, I was hoping to get the hit in the library and then the rift would go away and I wouldn't have to worry about not capturing right. it, but right. didn't quite pan out. Yeah, it's that, it's that risk reward, right? As soon as that comes up, mm -hmm. you have to make the quick decision, okay, do I go to the rift? Do, yeah. I, do I try to get the hit, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of yeah, decisions that have to be, to, to be made in those instances. Yeah. And, and that's for the monster as well as the teens. Like, the teens got to figure out, like, okay, do we want to, like, sort of uh, push and attack uh, and try to claim the rift? If they don't have weapons, there's not a lot they can do to stop the monster yeah. from adapting it. So, so here, who was it? Well, yeah, you were pushing my body with a ray gun, and so yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to fight in that room because there's a couple of long sight lines, so I just teleported away to safety. Mm-hmm. But you're still dolls. you're still reve revealed here by the rift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you forced the teleport out before you guys uh, lost vision of me. Yeah, and so that was that was really good on your part. Yeah. So I remember at this point, um, we had forced you to teleport. We knew where you were, and I was like, guys, we need to push right now because his teleport is down. We know exactly where he is. He's, yeah. he's pretty weak right now. So right now I can still see that yellow border. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that the, oh man, yeah, that was a good hit. I, I saw the yellow border, but I couldn't tell if it was um, Mikel who I had just hit, if he had right. stayed around, or if you were around somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you were sneaking I in was. There. I was. I snuck very slowly, put myself <laughs> in the back corner, and prayed to God you wouldn't turn around. <laughs> Yeah, because obviously you can sneak up on the doll master's body while he's like possessing a doll, yeah. but like if he ever drops the doll, yeah. then you're face to face with him and he can yeah. smack you. So yeah, it was pretty nerve wracking. Yeah. It's not a lot of elbow room in those stairways right there. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you 
Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a really good possession. I remember thinking at that moment, I was like, oh, that was a really good doll. Because you forced me up the stairs, you had yeah. a doll on the second level. You, t uh, you possessed that doll so that you saw that I went up to the third level. Yeah. Right? So you got a lot of information there and you just pressured me until I, yeah. until I died. Exactly. So now there's only one team left. Mm -hmm. uh, he's injured. Oh, and there he is right mm -hmm. there. He's already found him, so that's nice. So you threw that doll down up there sort of in the middle. Was that just sort of a, a, a check to see if there was anyone around at the time? Ooh. Ooh. So you got damaged there a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. You didn't get killed, but it immediately pulls you back to your body as soon as yeah. you get any damage. As soon damage. as you take damage, you, you can't right. stay holding onto that doll. You have to drop it. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I did was I dropped a doll at my feet, and then I teleported to safety because I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to push in against me with the sword. Right. And then I go and possess that doll that I just dropped at my feet there. Right, right. Oh, yeah, and clearly he's, he's still nearby. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to heal at that uh, healing station there. Yeah. Um, Oh, and he just ran out. Yeah, yep. he just ran out of I just, weapon. The, the teens do a little animation. When yeah. they run out of ammo, they sort of like throw their weapon up. And yeah, uh, yeah so I saw he had nothing left, so just...